what is going on guys today we have a huge problem and the problem is not with the market the problem is with me and basically running out of cash because I'm plowing so much money into these two stocks that we're going to talk about today basically all my funds that I'm getting I work a nine to, to five job and every paycheck that I'm getting I'm putting a little bit more money into these two stocks because I absolutely love them and the prices that they're getting to are absolutely ridiculous so today we're going to go over those two stocks we're going to talk about some of the fundamentals behind them and more importantly we're going to talk about who else is buying these stocks because there's a lot of super investors out there that are loading the boat right now and there are plenty also that are taking stocks off but we're going to take a look at some of the big names that are buying these two stocks today and i hope you guys enjoy the video so if you do make sure you drop a like down below and if you want to see more videos like this one make sure you hit that sub button the first stock that we're going to talk about today is my favorite of the two. So this one is less speculative in my opinion. This stock is Facebook or Meta platforms. And honestly, I don't see any reason why in five years this stock will be lower than where it's at today. And we're getting close to basically where my cost basis uh, is around. And I originally actually started buying this stock back uh, in the crash of basically the end of 2018 so kind of in this time period and that's when kind of the trade war with China and everything was going on and then Facebook has also had I think around that time uh, some basically concerns with the government uh, over you know becoming too much of a monopoly over the kind of social media and things like that and overall the stock tanked down so I started buying the stock kind of back in there uh, had a pretty good cost basis and then over the kind of the time uh, of the market I've bought a little bit more as we've seen kind of dips in here and right now I think I'm around 185 for my uh, my overall cost basis and we're back to that limit and that's somewhere that we haven't seen basically since early 2020 and that and so much has changed and so many positive things have gone on with Facebook that I've talked about in other videos more people are getting on Facebook as kind of the the world shut down right over the last couple of years more people gravitated towards Facebook things like Facebook, LinkedIn, social media platforms to stay connected with people uh, because they had to stay at home, you know, and they wanted to stay in touch with other people's lives and see what was going on and it just made people feel more connected. So a lot of those people, right, they, they've kept their Facebook, they've kind of kept connected and I don't see that going away. I mean, it's only grown meta platforms and grown their user base and the more users, meta is just a user base, you know, that, that's all they should be focused on is growing their user base and keeping their users and keeping them entertained and keeping them on the platform for as long as possible. Because what that does is that drives engagement with ads and basically, right, their whole business is, right, the more ad money that they can make, the more money and the, the better they do overall. So overall, I don't see this business going anywhere. So let's jump in and kind of look at where the revenues, revenue numbers have been over the last kind of few years. One thing I forgot to mention there is look at this number. This is the PE ratio of meta platforms. We're talking about a 13.62. This is a company that has double digit revenue growth year after year after year, and it's down at a 13.62. Companies even like Coca-Cola, who has barely any growth, you know, the company's very stable. It has a great dividend. You know, I'm not knocking the stock. I do like Coca-Cola stock. I personally don't own it. But you're talking about a PE ratio of 25.73. So you're paying, for every $1 uh, of earnings that Coca-Cola gets, you're paying $25.73 for it, uh, its share price to buy a portion of the company. For Meta platforms, for every $1 of earnings that Meta makes, you're paying $13.62. If you ask me, Meta has a lot brighter future growth in front of it than Coca-Cola. I think Coca-Cola will continue to grow and continue to be a great company. It keeps buying and, and acquiring companies. But at the end of the day, Meta has a lot more potential in front of it, a lot more things going for it that are just over-the-top positive things. And to be able to pay $13 for every $1 of earnings, that's insanely low for a stock like this. A lot of stocks will kind of sit around a, a 20 to $30 range, and that's kind of seen as a fair value. But for $13, that is extremely low for especially a company that has such good growth like Meta Platforms. So here we have revenue. And revenue, just by looking at it, you can see how insane the revenue is. So they've continued basically their growth 
over the trailing 12 months, you can see they're all the way up to $117.9 billion in trailing revenue. Uh, quarter over quarter, you see kind of an interesting trend here. So every December, it looks like they report, and this makes sense because right, a lot of people are consuming, consuming and buying new things in Q4 of every year. So every December when they report, they report higher earnings. Uh, and you see this happening. And then the next quarter, they actually report a, a pullback in revenue. So I wouldn't be surprised if Q1 of 2022, when they report their revenue, if we see it come in low, and you know the stock could pull back on that news, but it's too much of a risk that the mar market sentiment, if it flips, you know, and, and some of these things kind of get resolved with Russia and Ukraine, and maybe inflation, you know, the the numbers start pulling back, and we see the Fed maybe increase interest rates, um, you know, and and some of that uncertainty kind of goes away. We could easily see Facebook stock flip run up a bunch and then even if they report a, a small pullback in revenue i don't think it'll be you know detrimental to the stock so overall love the stock year over year growth you can see it goes down uh, but that's to be expected you know as a company gets larger and larger it just becomes more and more difficult to grow by 50 plus percent you know um here's their lowest quarter uh, or year over year growth is 10.67 percent and that's coming off a great market in 2019 and then going into you know q2 of uh, 2020 when every all the issues kind of started happening with the, the global pandemic. So overall, nothing concerning here with revenue. Revenue is in a great spot and I think it'll continue to be in a great spot uh, for the coming you know years. So here you have kind of a database that gives uh, overall stocks that are being bought by large hedge funds. And the big one here, you know, here's a whole list of last quarter top 10 buys. So you have Amazon, Visa, MasterCard, and then you have Facebook and Alibaba. And these are the two stocks that we're going to be talking about today. So if we click here on Facebook, you can see kind of all the people uh, and hedge funds that are, are buying uh, Facebook stock and basically the percent uh, that they're adding. So here you have someone adding 50%, 15%, someone reduced their position by 21%, 72%, uh, 36%, 65%, and then, you know, a bunch of double digit ads down here as well. And it's always interesting because, you know, there have to be people selling the stock for stock to move down this much. And then there also has to be people, you know, buying up that stock uh, at the end of the day. So, I mean, it's really a question of who's right and who's wrong. You know, you can look at all these numbers and you can pick, oh, maybe Pat Dorsey, uh, you trust him, you know, he's buying a little bit of the stock, but you know, if you don't and you feel better about, you know, the guys running Alta Rock partnership or partners, you know, then you might be reducing your shares. It's all kind of a, a preference. Uh, and seeing what you personally feel because you're always going to pick the bias that you feel most comfortable with If you feel like Facebook is a bad stock Then you're gonna agree with you know people reducing their position if you feel like it's great stock You're gonna look at people who are buying uh, and buying more of the stock So overall I personally think you know There's a lot of people who seem to be buying the stock and then there's a, just a few people who are selling large portions of their their shares who just are concerned with the stock overall so I tend to agree you know with buying the stock I always like to be a contrarian and buy at lows and uh, and sell at highs. So overall, love the stock. So this video is going a little bit longer than I'd hoped. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into two parts. So this is part one. This is exclusively basically about Facebook stock. And then part two I'll release on Wednesday of this week. And that'll be for Alibaba stock. So I'm going to record that right now. Uh, and I, if you want to see that video, make sure you, you know, subscribe and come back and tune in for Alibaba. But as of right now, you know, this is Facebook stock. I love this stock. I'm buying more of both these stocks basically every weekend. I, I don't really look at my long term portfolio until every weekend. And every weekend, I'll, I'll sit down, look over it, evaluate what stocks are kind of at the bottom of my portfolio that I feel most bullish on. And Alibaba and Facebook are those two stocks right now. And I'm basically funneling all my leftover funds uh, into those stocks. I have an emergency account and other things that you know I have cash in. But as of right now, these are the two stocks that I'm basically putting all my extra, extra cash into. And I absolutely love them. And like I said, uh, this is for Facebook stock. We'll go over Alibaba in the next video, but if you enjoyed the video, make sure you drop a like down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one, make sure you hit that sub button. Otherwise, have a wonderful rest of your day.